Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have something a little different. This is going to be a long video and hopefully the lighting is okay because it's very dreary but it's also very smoky outside today. Um, but today's going to be a little bit different of a video. It's going to be probably a long one but I am going to redo my bookshelves and for the first time I kind of film a bookshelf tour so I'm gonna do it all in one video so I'm not gonna go through like every book that I have but I will go through like the sections and kind of show you clips of all of the books so you can kind of see what all I have and this bookshelf organization video is gonna be just a little bit different than most people's that you see so most people do like rainbow bookshelves they do genre they do alphabetical whatever but for me I'm trying to do the like ultimate mood reader bookshelf situation but just to go over how I want my shelves done so I have two bookshelves that my husband built they are eight feet tall and four feet wide and right now everything is pretty much set up by genre and then I have a shelf of all of the like book of the month books but for my mood reader shelves I'm going to have on the left side I'm going to have a spring summer fall and winter shelf and on the fall it's going to have Halloween and then on the winter it's going to have the Christmas books as well and spring is going to have some classics and stuff and then my summer is going to have all of my summer books and it will have a mix of genres so it'll have some romance it'll have some thrillers it'll have just different things like that and then on the right side I'm going to keep that kind of like anytime throughout the year dystopians fantasies my favorites shelf and then some thrillers and mystery book and horror and things like that so yeah we'll see how this goes I really um, love bookshelf videos and I really was trying to find somebody that had this like idea in their brain but like nobody has done really like mood reader shelves so I'm kind of just going off of what just popped in my brain on how I wanted to redo them but we're gonna go ahead and get started because it's gonna take a while
so I'm finished with the bookshelves all of this is pretty much the way that I want it so I just want to go through some of the stuff that I did so for my TBR cart I'm going to actually put TBR books on the bottom I just cleared everything out so I can make a fresh TBR for the next like month or so and then this top shelf is all of my current happy go lovely sleeves book sleeves and I have quite a bit I do have one that I'm probably going to order tonight because she's doing a pre-order for a book sleeve and then I have three more coming one in each size that's summer ones and this cart will probably end up being solely just book sleeves by the end of it but for now I'm just gonna have the book sleeves on top and then this is my little Riley do not hit the tripod um, book sleeves on top the uh, <laughs> library books on top of here in here is just like some random stuff for now I might end up taking that top off later but for right now I'll just keep it on there because this is not full this little guy is just my pencil case that I use for annotations and then the bottom is going to be a TBR shelf for now what's he doing Mwah. Mwah. oh goodness all right so next I did move a few of my books over here I have my favorite copy of Alice in Wonderland I do have multiple copies of this I just put the favorite one over here so I could see it while I'm at my computer this is my Wordsworth edition um, classics I do want more of them I have five of them at the moment and then I moved my little Taylor Swift golden book over here as well so I have all of those on the shelves above my computer all right this is a very weird angle but this is how it's gonna have to be because these are eight feet tall and I just can't reach them without a step stool so the top section up here is just like some random books I have some memoirs and things like that I have um, stuff like Schindler's List and the Kite Runner up here and then I have some classics over here and then you have the second shelf which starts the seasonal shelves so the second shelf is my spring shelf so it starts out over here with like retellings of fairy tales and um, my other copies of like Alice in Wonderland and Peter Pan and things like that and then it moves over into more like fairy tale type books and then just some other books that I want to read during spring like the Nevermore books another copy of Alice in Wonderland there's some classics like Emma the Secret Garden Winnie the Pooh and then just some random books over here like better than the movies a sky painted gold the midnight library all of that and then this little thing that's sitting here just has some random like bookmarks i have my random little like power line bookmarks and harry potter bookmarks and these cute little guys right here so i have all of those in here and now i can actually get down on a regular level but this is the summer shelf this just has a bunch of random books all mixed together that I have either read during the summer have a summer setting or I would prefer to read in the summer so there are some mysteries some thrillers some middle grade there's a bunch of romance I know that happy place and stuff aren't necessarily like super summery but it does have like throwback scenes to like their summers spent at that cabin and stuff and then just some other books down this way and then I have all of my Christy Woodson Harvey books that are set in the summertime and then her other two books which is a Christmas book and a um, historical fiction book I have on another shelf but I have all of those and then I have a little jar of shells that we have like jars all over the house because we go to the beach all the time because we live on the coast and anytime that we get shells I just go and drop a few in each of those little glass containers and then this picture right here is actually a watercolor of Christy Woodson Harvey's Feels Like Falling so I put that over there because this is the summer shelf all right so now we're on to the fall Halloween shelf first off I put this cute little fall picture um, I am a part of Morgan Long's Patreon and this was one of her pictures from like last year the year before something she always sends a postcard for the certain tiers so I put that on here to kind of like signify that it's the fall Halloween shelf 
but this has a little bit of everything. There is literally classics on here. There are middle grade books, YA books. There are some fiction, like contemporary fiction books. There are some horror and some like retellings and thrillers and things like that. Long Live the Pumpkin Queen, one of my favorites from this year. And then just some more random ones. Mexican Gothic, just because it gives like gothic vibes. Hocus Pocus. And then all of these are more like witchy type books. I thought I had more witchy books, but apparently I don't. Um, and if I do, they're like somewhere else in the house. But all of the witchy books I put here as well because I love reading those during the fall time. Super, super weird angle, but this is the winter and Christmas shelf. So down there, the little Christmas picture is also from a Morgan Long Patreon subscription thing. And then all of those are Christmas books. Most of them are romance. There's a couple of just like contemporary books, but most are romance. This is just some thrillers, some YA, some middle grade that are either set in snowy areas or they have a snowy scene or like this one I think is a New Year's Eve party maybe. And then you have a bunch of romance over here because it's not technically winter romances, but February is technically still winter and I want to read romance in February for Valentine's Day. So all of these are here. And for the random uber dark shelf down here, hopefully it's not too bad, but all of that is just random YA books couple of random candles that we've used but I like the tops of them. I need to clean them out. This has all of my little happy go lovely sleeves bookmarks in it and like one random Harry Potter bookmark and then all of these right here are just random either contemporary fiction. These are historical fictions all of that. I don't have a lot of them because I don't read a lot of just contemporary books but um this is that section. And now on to the right shelf. So the right shelf is mostly fantasy thrillers, all of that. So these bottom two shelves are literally just a mishmash of cozy mysteries, mysteries, thrillers, um, a few horror books, and it's all adult YA, some middle grade mixed in. So literally every little thing that you can think of right here and then these are not my actual copies of Akatar. This is just the um, dust covers because I have dust covers that you'll see up there that I have on them right now. Next this shelf is literally the most random shelf ever. It's literally I'm calling it like my favorites and like magical shelf. Makes no sense in probably everybody's brain but these bookshelves literally make sense in my brain. But all of this is from like here over are just either books that I've recently read that I really really loved or book series that I have read and reread over again. So the Every Heart of Doorway Wayward Children series, favorite thing ever. I literally have a tattoo that says be sure on my wrist because of this book series. Erin A. Craig is a new favorite author. I really love A History of Wild Places. Loved like loved Wayward. I would give anything to read this book over again for the first time. And then the Shatter Me series, once again, I have a tattoo that says Ignite because of this book series. So all of these are just favorites. And then behind here are just a couple of books from Deborah A. Baker, which is a pen name of Shauna McGuire. I haven't read them yet, but I already know that I'm going to love them. And then all of these over here are just like more like magical, magical realism, all that kind of stuff. So Howl's Moving Castle, Thistlefoot. I haven't read most of these, but just from the synopsis alone, it sounds like this kind of vibe. And then I have all of my Greek mythology books right here. And by the way, I'm reading this one right now and it's fantastic so far. And these two shelves right here are literally just a compilation of a bunch of fantasy books and fantasy series that I have. I've read some of them. Haven't read all of them. Yeah, just a bunch of random stuff. I have some middle grade, some YA, some adult. Really want to read this soon. Really want to read Fourth Wing soon. I have one graphic novel here, but this is pretty much what these two shelves look like. I do want to 
possibly do a declutter out of all of these because there's a lot that I want to buy but obviously you can see I don't really have much room to play with on these shelves but yeah there's a lot of good ones a lot of favorites on these two shelves and I'm not going to climb all the way up here for this shelf but this is literally just a few leftover fantasy books that wouldn't fit here and then dystopian most of these I have read the Maze Runner series, Hunger Games, Divergent, all of those. I haven't read the Selection series or um, Red Queen or these books right here, but I have read pretty much everything over here except for Kingsbane. But that is it for this bookshelf reorganization video and kind of showing you guys what is on the shelves currently. If you want a more in-depth bookshelf tour. I do have some shopping to do so it may be after that but if you guys want a more in-depth bookshelf tour with me like actually showing you all of the books that I have instead of just kind of glazing over them let me know. If not you could probably see most of the titles in this video but yeah um hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully my brain makes a little bit of sense to some of you because I just wanted to make like an ultimate mood reader seasonal type bookshelf setup and so far I'm really liking it. We'll see if I change anything over the next couple of weeks. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below how you organize your bookshelves and I'll see you guys in my next video.